Which was your biggest takeaway from the tournament? Uh, you know, basketball, you know, is a lot of teams, a lot of countries are getting better at the sport. Um, that's it. Since there's 10 months to Tokyo Olympics, what do you think USA basketball needs to do in that time to have a different result next summer? Let's get better. Simple as that. I mean, um, we had a tough game against France um, with a lead in the fourth quarter that we lost. But that's all you can do is just uh, move on from that game and get better. This team made no changes, which we all expect will be something. But if you made no changes, how far away do you think you are from being the best? Like I said, I think I think we're right there in the gold medal game again. Um, we were, like I said, um, with a 7-10 point lead in the fourth quarter, lost it. Chris, do you feel bad, you know, going home and having connected uh, your name with uh, one of the biggest failures of uh, the U.S. in international level? I mean... No, I mean, it's not the result we have, but I'm, I don't consider anybody in that locker room a failure. I don't consider myself a failure at all. What was, uh, now that it's over, what was it like to play for Pop? Was it different than you had thought it might be? No, I mean, uh, what I saw is exactly what I, what I got from a, from a distance, I would say. Uh, he's a great coach, um, great person.